600 kilometers, first time in Norway, first time doing a road trip in a convertible. Why have we never done it before? Why have I never considered a convertible before? Good evening and welcome to Norway. The first time I have ever said that. This is my first time to the country. I'm so excited because, well, pictures of this place are absolutely stunning. But right now I'm dumping my bags, I'm freshening up a little bit and then going to have dinner because it is half past 11 and being in Norway, the sun doesn't really set for very long. So it's still kind of dusk outside. Day one. Time to leave this wacky hotel and pick up our oh car. No. Ooh, trying to vlog. Check out the hotel all at the same time. Oh, no, I need to press where I'm going. Morning from my hotel room. I'm just woken up. That's actually a lie, as you can see, I'm fully dressed. It's not going to do it itself. It's not going to do it itself. Down we go, checking out. Let's go and pick up our F type. So these are the cars that are going to be taking us to the Jags. We are in a very quaint little seaside town on the western coast of Norway. I feel royal, I feel like the queen. Just got Range Rovers lined up ready to take us to our jags. We are in the bat cave and this is going to be our car, the F-Type convertible. Two litre, four cylinder, it's the brand new F-Type and uh, Jaguar have been launching this car with that, the brand new Range Rover Villar, which I will show you because they're in beautiful specs. It looks super futuristic, um, but we have got a left-hand drive white with red interior. It's left-hand drive with an English plate, which confuses me a little bit. But we've just dumped our bags in, and uh, we're now gonna get accustomed to this car, and then start taking it on some pretty awesome roads, and beginning to explore the west coast of Norway. the speeding fines, the hot and speeding fines. 300 pounds if you're caught going five kilometers over the speed limit. 900 pounds if you're going 10 kilometers over. So that's, that's me bankrupt at 10 kilometers over. <laughs> <laughs> and then jail at 20 kilometers over. The weather's kind of clearing up. Blue sky up there. So I think... It's cleared up enough, it's good. Yeah. Which way do you do it? That way. This is why we picked this car. Roof down. Is that, that's super quick. <laughs> really quick. <laughs> Number one. Now take the ferry. <laughs> now take the ferry. <laughs> I've never Amazing. heard that in a sun before. <laughs> in Norway, in the western western parts of Norway, there's a lot of water. So to actually get around the country, <laughs> there are like numerous ferries, like it's normal here. And here's the lady that's gonna take all of our money.
we have found a viewpoint that seems to be very popular with tourists and our nav is saying that there is a twisty road below us so we're going to try and get a quick view of just how beautiful Norway is check this out this is pretty ridiculous when I put Norway on the bucket list, the automotive bucket list. It was more s a selfish thing. I mean, to put to put it on the bucket list because I didn't. I had no idea how good it was going to be as a driving yeah. country. I mean, I'm struggling to even concentrate on what you're saying because the views <laughs> off to that side. I know. <laughs> One of the first things that I said to you when we arrived and realised just how insane this place is is that. You, you would want to do it in like a Rolls Royce drop head with a driver oh, so yeah. that you could take in all of the sights because right now we're trying to make a video but at the same time honestly the views are like nothing I've seen you don't have to drive fast through no you no, can't no. drive fast no. through because of the speed limits but at the same time it's all about dropping the top yeah because I'm looking at that the top of that mountain there you wouldn't see that if we went in a convertible if, if you were in a coupe like that you wouldn't see that you wouldn't see no. that and the views the elements the wind through your hair videos it's these videos that when you make you're like we got we got a pretty cool job <laughs> and just like that the microclimate changes literally just like getting from my ship Norway yeah yeah <laughs> Have fun, mate. <laughs> so magically, as we were filming over across the fjords and the mountain roads, we got beautiful sunshine enabling us to throw the drone up into the air because drones aren't waterproof. Well, we're in a convertible, the roof is up. And I've never been in a convertible when it's been <laughs> raining. And, I, and I've heard that you don't actually get wet if you drive fast enough. That is true. If you go over a certain speed, it creates like an air bubble. So the water just goes over the car. So in so this car, theoretically. theoretically, in this car, the maximum speed that you can put the roof down is 50 kilometers an hour. So should we slow down if we haven't got anyone behind us? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm getting a bit wet. Yeah. Right. Roof latch, right, we can go now. Go. <laughs> hey, it's actually working. <laughs> I'm getting some drippage off the wind. There. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of. It's good. <laughs> it really works. I'm getting a bit wet, but I think that's yeah. Oh, now we've caught the traffic. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> getting cold now. There is a Velar here. Look how good that looks. Do you reckon we should put the roof up? Yeah. We're parking next to the Velar. Yeah, I think so. I think parking next to the Velar. And now we don't have a view. Oh. Good morning. Welcome to day, day two of being in Norway. Feels like day three of the trip, because it's Tuesday and we landed at Sunday evening, so it kind of is. And today was the day that was supposed to be super sunny, blue sky, and it is delivered. Yesterday, we were lucky with the pocket of weather that we got. But check out, I feel like we're on some American ranch.
mate, it's a road. <laughs> Get out of the road. Uh, we're, we're in Oslo <laughs> for about an hour and a half. Me and Alex were just chatting as we were wafting along because the Norwegian speed limits, and I know that we've been talking about them quite a lot, but it is quite an important factor and it's really influenced uh, my driving, our driving, because we've both been driving. Yeah. We've broken away from the pact, and the one thing that we've really picked up on is that everyone sticks to the speed limits. All of the cars, the residents, the tourists, everyone sticks to the speed limits. So I think everyone's just scared of the fine. Definitely. Like, you get told, like, oh, the fines are really bad, the police are really strict, but it's until you see all the locals just yeah. obeying, completely obeying the speed limit that you really get a sense of how strict the police are. The entire ring road is underground, meaning my phone doesn't get any signal, so I can't check Google Maps, and there are no, like, landscape points that we can focus on that we need to get to. We got as close to three minutes on the nav, it's now 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon that's no cars, and, that's definitely no cars and bikes down the way? Yeah, yeah, right? that's just us buses. Right, okay, so we're gonna have to go this way. Uh, can I go this way? Oh! Oh, yeah. fuck. Do you reckon it's one way or do you reckon I'm allowed down there? Um, yeah, there's no, we're allowed, we're allowed because the traffic yeah. lights, yeah, yeah. The traffic lights are pointing this way. And I'll give you an idea of what my map's looking like. It's loving life. <laughs> <laughs> it's just freaking out. Look. Well, it looks like a university, doesn't it? Can we drive down here? <laughs> Wait, is this the way the nav took us? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're just... We're being told to do a U-turn. We've made it to the hotel and I think I've caught the sun. I think the convertible is literally like, I've caught the sun today. And we're getting the room set up, meaning getting the bed sorted and getting everything on charge. So I'm gonna to need to get this battery on charge. I'm about 15 minutes away from going live on Instagram, which you would have already seen, or if you didn't see or missed it, um, it explained a lot about the next couple of videos that are coming. I will explain more in the next instalment to this road trip into the unknown where we are driving on roads and into countries that we have never been before in a car that I've never driven before. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you are stay tuned for episode two or part two to this pretty insane road trip that we've got. Um, and yeah, next video, we head through Sweden into Denmark and then down into Amsterdam. So it's gonna be pretty mad, loads of miles to cover, many, many hours. This road trip is probably gonna take its toll on us, but we will get there, we will get to the finish line. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Check some of the links in the description below if you did miss the Instagram Live. There will be quite a lot of information, and tomorrow I will let you guys know on everything that is happening from Oslo to Copenhagen. Yeah, that's the next leg. Right, see you later guys, bye.